New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg is shutting his office door in City Hall for the last time today. To some, the mayor's legacy will be remembered as an advocate for public health. Others say he's launched an attack on civil liberties. Let's take a look back at some of the mayor's blacklisting highlights. In 2002, causing massive public uproar, Mayor Bloomberg told everyone to put their butts out for good in restaurants and bars. During his third term, that ban extended to most outdoor areas and building entrances. This year, New York also became the first major city to forbid the sale of tobacco to anyone under 21. Continuing with this trend, the freedom to smoke electronic cigarettes has gone up in flames, too. The mayor amended the Smoke-Free Air Act on Monday, stating that anywhere traditional cigarette smoking is banned, e-cigarettes are as well. In his last few days in office, Bloomberg also placed the flammable plastic polystyrene on the public health blacklist. It is now illegal to sell or provide styrofoam products, including restaurant-to-go containers and packing peanuts. Christmas will never be the same for this perfect kitten who turned the devastating pollutant into a holiday confetti floor decoration. Bloomberg's bans stretch from bad containers to the bad food restaurants put in them. In 2006, the Big Apple led the nation in doing away with artificial trans fats. In November, the Food and Drug Administration followed suit, announcing requirements to eventually phase out trans fats nationwide. And we would be remiss if we didn't highlight the mayor's attempt to remove big gulp sodas right out of the mouths of thirsty New York residents. 64 ounce. Just think about that. Go near these things. <laughs> However, a court ruled that the city's health board exceeded its rights with this ban. So for now, anyway, you can still buy your big gulp and drink it too. One fight Michael Bloomberg did win was back in 2008 when he required restaurants to include calorie counts on their menus. No longer could New Yorkers consume an ignorant bliss. And just in case if these bans made anyone crazy, Mayor Bloomberg also banned the sale of assault rifles and banana clips during his time in office. That's just a brief summary of Mayor Bloomberg's blacklisting highlights. His opponents say he ran a nanny state. But Bloomberg says it's about putting public health first. I will walk out of office knowing that, whether you agreed or disagreed with me, I always made decisions based on the merits. And we always put the needs of future generations ahead of the demands of today's special interest groups. Either way, Bloomberg is out today and is now up to Bill de Blasio to regulate the New York citizenry. In Washington, D.C., Perry and Boring, RT.